What if I told you he wasn't the greatest? That a country would fail to protect its greatest natural resource? That sometimes it is a matter of life and death? That no one can outrun the truth? What if I told you he's the only true Cubs fan? That you can heal all wounds with a fight song? That the man no one could stop tragically was? What if I told you running a marathon is easy? 30 stories, 30 filmmakers, 30 years. ESPN's critically acclaimed 30 for 30, presented by Levi's. What if I told you a club at the top of the world had to be set back to the beginning? This is the story of how one club, through legal restrictions, had to get sent back to Division 10 and how they will try to earn back Division 1. Now it's time to meet the players. First up is the club owner, captain, coach, player manager of sorts. It is Arshang FC. He has been in the club the longest. His old club was named after him, but like we said, due to the legal restrictions that we did not know about as a club, he was forced to start a new club back in Division 10. So let's go have an interview with him and see what his thoughts are. I think the rule is stupid. I mean, how could they just think that because we spent too much money on transfers that we just deserve to be sent back to the beginning? Sure, demote us or make us lose a few points here and there, but to go back to Division 10, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't have had to start a new club. I lost a lot of money in the other club, and I'm not excited to start this new journey. But I know if we get to keep all their players that we did have, we will have a successful run. But we got to show them that it's all about us. On the field, I'm more of a kind of all-around I tend to play striker, but obviously I could drop back to cam or center mid. I'm really, like, it's more of the uh, management side of the team, trying to get all the transfers in, keep the team organized, get everyone around um, for the game. So that's really where I'm, I, I try to keep my role on the field. I just try to assist and uh, just be where I need to be, but I don't have a real set position. Next up is Chris Miko, the youngest competitor of the team. He is at a astounding 15 years old starting for the squad. Um, started started basically at left back, but has seemed to move to striker as uh, we interviewed our friends. He's fully willing to move back to center mid. So with Miko, he's consistently improved as a 15 year old. You gotta expect that his finishing wouldn't have been there from the beginning. Get all nervous on the big stage, but um, Box Box FC thinks that they can really train him going forward, and with the uh, you or with the experience of the rest of the squad, can really turn him into a great player getting into division uh, three, two, and one eventually. Next up is Ricardo Luis Fernandez, aka the Fox to Box Striker Cam. The role designed by him it to fit the mold of Box to Box FC. He describes the role in his words as the pivotal role where he plays technically a cam in the field, but he also likes to drop back on defense to help out support, and then every time, anytime he gets a chance, he loves to be in the box to get that last finish or to work his way in to get that goal. So he really tries to provide the goals and assists while uh, providing a box-to-box -box role and getting back on defense. Uh, he's definitely provided himself as the mainstay cam in the team for Box Box FC going forward from Division 10 to Division 1. Um, and he w wishes to keep this Box to Box FC and his Box to Box striker cam role locked for good. Next up, we have Apu Nasapatilio. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. We're still learning it because he is the new guy on the team. He is the newest one to join Box to Box FC as they go into the transition. He was not there for Armstrong FC. He is brand new to the team. Um, comes in under the Foreign Law Act um, that was just enacted on the league where we do have to sign a foreign player. And he has made an incredible addition. One addition we might not have seen had the law not been enacted. So we are very happy it was because he could be a great addition to Box to Box FC. In his friendlies, he has shown that he is able to be in that center mid role um, and really take it over for the team as well. Helping out in the with uh, the rest of the midfield. He can go forward, he can go back, and he does possess the skill moves that a lot of people lack in the team. So we look forward to Apu adding to the team going forward. And next, we have the one, the only, the ginger, Ned Flanders. He is the either CM or CDM. He has no limit to his roles. Uh, he is the ankle breaker, not because he does skill moves, because he physically goes and tries to break people's ankles. He's the heart and soul of the squad in the midfield. He is going to make a statement every game. We'll say that. It is Ned Flanders, as we said. He, like I said, he is just going to break ankles. 
He's going to maybe pick up a red card here and there, but it's all for the spirit of the team. Um, and the team really rallies around when he gets a red card and always pulls out a victory for him. And don't forget, he can hit a banger when it's needed for the team. So Box Box FC needs Ned Flanders in that midfield. Last, but certainly not least, is the other striker. It is Mitch Jenkins, a.k.a. Stud Muffin. It is the man that sees no height. He is the man that plucks the ball out of the air with the ferocity of Giroud of Peter Crouch, of all the greats, but he's still able to dribble by the defense and bang in goals with his left or right foot as well. He's the top goal scorer of Armstrong FC and hopes to carry that into Box to Box FC in their run going forward. It is the stud muffin, and it is the pillar of light at the top of Box to Box FC moving on to Division 1. Now you've met just six players of Box to Box FC, but of course there will be others making appearances for the club, as a good club should have quite good reserves. We have Aguero Mancias, who could, could be coming in the midfield, Master of PA, who could be a striker or midfielder, Khan Gan, who will help out in the back line. We have Sam BT, who also help out in the back line. We have plenty of reserves that could be coming in for Box to Box FC as we watch their journey from Division 10 to Division 1. We hope you stay tuned. Um, and we will have some clips of some of these players going uh, that, from their old club going forward. So I hope you guys did enjoy this and hope you will subscribe to the channel so you will see the journey of Box to Box FC.